All right, second part of a VOD review for Vinny, who's played two. This time we have also Sky, but on Haven. So let's uh, let's check what's happening here and let's learn something. Uh, you see the minimap? Yes, we do. All right. Wait, oh, this round is without barriers already. What the hell? He was just standing there. Okay. I like the fact that he used a um, free bird, like free flowing bird, right? So your gun was like out much faster. But I don't like the fact that the flash went like this and exploded here, right? When you try to like flash in, in this position, remember that the bird has the most efficiency if you flash like here, because then can also flash the players on site. And if you aim for informations, you can do it also differently. Like if you want to have 100% confirmation, if someone is hiding in this corner, right, you can explode the flash in the corner. So if you get the confirmation, then that means that someone is hiding in this corner. And if you don't, well, that means there's no one there, right? But personally, I wouldn't do it for that. Just saying, like, the possibilities, right? And your flash, like, you seen, right? Your flash didn't confirm anything, and you still had to check, like, the corner. Rena is on site right now. I don't have any more flashes. Wait, what? Is on site right now. You bought Sheriff Doggo, and you used your... Yeah, that, that's... Okay, so that's, that's actually... This is actually very uh, similar to what you have seen yesterday, by the way. Mm. You play your initiator more as a Sova than as a Sky. You know what I mean? Second time you called it Ghana Sheriff? Oh yeah, oh, my bad. Like, this is the second... Why, why the fuck was no, someone sorry, no, second stand time. here while I'm pushing up on this side? Fucking go forward and fight him. And if Maybe. you're not fighting for a bit, tell me. I yeah, you're not speaking game, you're just venting, okay. So, you told me not to buy heal, uh, run, run. Yeah, don't buy the heal. Don't buy the heal, 100%. It's a waste and, and ranked. And, oh, okay, so this is a good example. Right here, like, first, right? Your your playstyle right here was still more like, uh, not an initiator, like, not kind of like Breach, but like Sova. You know what I mean? Like, you play Sky, from what I've seen yesterday, and from what I've seen already from this one round, is that your playstyle is Sova-like on Sky, and not Breach-like on Sky. And I do think that it has to be more Breach-like on Sky, because you have to open sites. You know? Like, Sova is getting players off positions, right? But Sky, you, you can use one flash for that, but then the second flash is very badly needed to get onto site, right? That's that, that, that's at least what I think. And second, this is actually a very interesting concept that not many people think about. So when you go into this round, you lost the pistol round, and f for me, that's my objective for this round, is to get as much value by min-maxing as possible. So I'm never buying a second smoke on Brimstone. I'm never buying a second smoke on Omen. I never buy a second TP on Yoru because the first utility from the signature abilities is free. Right now, you spent 250 cash for a flash, right? So if you use one flash, that's going to cost you 250. If you use two flashes, it's still going to cost you 250, right? But if you have one flash, you can use one flash for free, and if you use the second one, well, 40 seconds to pass, right? But you should buy the dog and always have it every round just in case you have an advantage and maybe the dog can get you further into an advantageous, advantageous position. Because right now, you're in a position where you cannot freely use the sky flash because it's going to cost you money, right? Uh... While you're playing on an eco. So, and also on Reyna, I would never buy a second dismiss if I lost the pistol round. Turret out. Think about it this way. Sky, Sky, like, you have three spectrums of initiators. Sova. Sova, right? 
To je sofa. Sofa with the bow and the arrow. Sofa is a recon. Breach. Breach, this guy, is a can opener. Right? They have different different tasks. This guy gets positions um informations, right? And allows your teammates to like gather space. This guy is his job is to support the entries on site to make sure you can get easier kills. This is why he's a can opener, right? Now Sky, who's in the middle, why I have absolutely no idea how to draw. Let's assume this is Sky. Um, her job is like you combine Sky, so you combine Sova and Breach into one character, and this is Sky. So, like, first cycle of the round, so the first 40 seconds, you essentially are a Sova, and then in the second part of the round, you are a Breach. Right? You can type an exclamation mark compendium and listen about it when I talk about, when I in the video about initiators. Yo, don't go over here, don't go over here, don't go over here. No, no, no. See, this is the problem I see right now. You are an initiator that gets a very powerful utility in the in the round where you should be playing eco, but you're not using it. You have two flashes and you don't want to use it because it costs you money. Right? But if you would not buy the second one, you had an up you had the possibility of using the flash freely this round at the beginning of the round get confirmations get some like informations you know bro, bro. good shots greedy for the f so this is 100 percent mistake you know that your opponents can be still everywhere right they can be double those they can be uh in they can be in CT, and this is the moment when you shouldn't be running for the gun. This is the moment when you, for example, flash double doors, flash CT, have a confirmation, or like deny space for opponents, and then pick up the gun. The greediness almost killed you. The opponent was just fucking terrible. I right? just want my RAB there, though. Good job, you got a double kill that basically almost wins the round, but... The second kill was just lucky, was like really and you still didn't use a single flash, by the way, no that you spent that. money on, right? Yo, anyone in my spectrum about to die in like two shots. I'm There's no. The, Alright, dude. Alright, my dude. My dude. Don't give a fuck about those randoms. Those people in Plat 2, they have no absolute idea what they're doing. You have 19 HP, you have two flashes, you have a Spectre, keep it. You just probably lowered the chances of winning the round by giving him the gun. Okay. I don't think he even took it, no? <laughs> of course it's on the fucking ground! Look, look at this! That's what I'm talking about! Those people are morons! You are, you are too much of a team player. You are thinking too much about your teammates. This is like me from three years ago. Fuck him! Those people are terrible! Out, and also, you're walk we are walking way too much with your utility in hand. That was a chance that you have died like three times already. Did Still didn't reload one. your classic, by the way, since the moment you dropped Shadows the Spectre. No. Stop peeking your one shot. Pick up with me, pick up with me. Evan. Last player standing. That's one three. enemy remaining. He did in half, so he won. Because he's a moron. But again. Again. Like. Multiple things that you can learn from this one round. Right there, I right? know yeah, Clay came there, but like. Yeah, at that point he's either half, and I thought I could just like get him off it. Or survive. The, by the way, when, you, when you're when playing. Uh, I like the commentary. Uh, so when you're playing in this position, right? The thing is, look at your timer on. Look at your timer on the flash, right? Because you were hesitant to use it earlier. You're not getting it right now on the good timing. But the thing is, look, 
you get a free timing here on him because you know what he's going to do, right? So, tapping. He needs to get a half. If he ever wants to win this round, he needs to get a half with the first one. And the problem is that if he gets, if he chooses the logical option right now, you're going to peek him because you're so far away. You're going to peek him when he already has the half. And then you have to swing into him. When, if he has a half and he kills you, you lose. Like, your position right here is like, there's not much you can do. It, it's all on the mercy of your opponent, right? Because if he has the half, he actually has the chance of winning the round. But you can't really, like, fix this. Because you're, you're, you are using the flash way too late for that confirmation. Like, when you are walking with the flash yeah, in your I hands, know, yeah, when you could have like, died, yeah, like, three times, half. right? When you could have died, like, three times on your utility in hand, that was the moment when you should have flashed already. So you would have flashed. You would have had your flash ready when he was defusing, right? And also, you put yourself into position for short because you trusted your teammates that they will play with you. Spoiler, they didn't, right? So... I also, I very much like how the Killjoy called play off me. Let's go. How how the Killjoy played, uh, how the Killjoy said play off me when he was hidden under under heaven and you were in short. Let's get this like you can make this shit up. Here. Let's go. Let's go. Placing alarm bot. Let's go see. Let's go see. Okay. Why? Please. And in general, by the way, something that I explained before: if you want to have perfect timing on your opponent, right? Use this. I'm always trying to use the ping when you're playing, right? So you hear the spike diffuse, use this. You go exactly as this goes in. Like there's a sound of it, right? Look. Where the third ping goes in, you want to pick the sp peak the spike. So I'm holding an angle. The spike is here, right? Or like, let's do it like this. Someone is defusing the spike. I know that he's there. The moment he pings the spike, I tap this. I go and swing at that moment. Why? Because defusal is three and a half seconds. This countdown is three seconds, right? So when this pings third time, you have the perfect timing on someone that is almost at the half or he's going to start again defusing because the first ping was a fake. I didn't. Time to jump. Oh. I'm going to flash out. Oh, no, I need smoke. Cover going out. Ah, uh, did you record this after yesterday's VOD? VOD review? <laughs> Lovely. Lo look, guys, this is a perfect example of how someone sends a vote review, learns a technique, and uses it correctly and successfully in the next in the next vote review. I re I I uh, I explained this yesterday. So when you play Sky, if you do a free bird like this, right? If you do a free bird like this, your weapon is already ready. Look, see, you peek instantly you can shoot so you can play for yourself so you literally get a first blood as a sky because you played it more like a duelist lovely lovely man i like ver this very much oh that dog would have been very ambitious the second flash could have been even higher because the smokes denied you info from backside Players. Good idea. Reposition. Yeah, go into position. ADS from here. If you're in a such position like this, remember to ADS. Also, if I'm that chamber, I'm fucking peeking you. When I hear that, I'm fucking peeking you, and there's a high chance you're gonna die to the chamber. So that that duel with the chamber definitely not necessary and a little bit like overconfident, right? But I understand where you're coming from. I'm doing a lot of standing still and shooting right now, right there, aren't I? Last night I thought of you and I actually used the secondary fire still. mode in a long range fight with Spectre and one against the Vandal. Spectre long range, ADS, every single time. 
Like medium right, to long range. Gonna Always go ideas. Here. I'm gonna flash out, man. I'm gonna go sewers afterwards too. So this flash definitely needs so work. I know what you want to achieve, right? You want to be the, the ready with the gun and so on. But this flash definitely needs working I'll on a uh, lineup. Yeah. You nice you lazy on checked on you lazy checked Yo, this you? this corner here. That's like a Reyna who else there? That's like three people already, I think. That's what I said. Let's make some more noise. First, you you uh, see, right, right now, by the way, when you look at the minimap, maybe not anymore, but there was a smoke on A main because the Astra's vision was blocked. When you're six out of seven, I would, in general, in a round as an initiator, when you start the round six out of seven, I put myself in a mode when I'm thinking my win condition this round is my ult. So I want to go for an orb. And I, for example, here, the easier orb is the C1 because you can ask uh, your... Uh, omen to smoke top C, right? Like smoke here, or just smoke here, right? And or if you if you don't want to ask your teammates, you can single-handedly get that all by using a flash, like you did before, right? So in general, I will, like in ranked, trying to That's use right, as many That's ultimates as That's possible. Right, when you go like this, always look to your left. Don't trust your fucking teammates. Or look at, at your back. Right now, you're rotating with your back open to short that no one is holding. And you should be just looking at it. This knife doesn't do anything. It doesn't help you, but it can only kill you. Always have a, like, right here. Right here, when you're rotating from short. There could have been still a guy going in short. And you're going like this, right? This takes a lot of time. But instead, you could have just do this. Takes a very similar amount of time, but you are never like in a position where you're defenseless, right? Yeah, let's go see. Let's go see. Use your use your flash for information. Like you were not certain it's free, no? Did the euro clear? Yeah, that was one long. That's what that's what I meant. You were not certain. Line up flash. Yeah, I feel like you overstayed your welcome a little bit. And you had two flashes. So that's definitely a mistake, right? Using a lineup flash there? How do we how do we call this? How do we call this this sky technique that, that that I talked about yesterday? I don't think anyone spoke about that, so I would like to name it and make a video on Lotus Lab today about it. How do we call that technique? Free flowing bird? That's a little bit long. Free bird? Oh wow, I'm watching some randoms. Yeah, I think three bird. Can't go C, bro. Can we go A? Oh, like listen, if my alarm is C. All right, that's another thing that I see that you struggle with. When you... <laughs> Leonard Skinner... Oh my god. 99% um, of the people that are watching Valorant content have absolutely no idea what you just said, Goose 6. So, uh, what, you, uh, what I think you have a problem with is you don't have a plan at the beginning of the round. That is something that a lot of people struggle with. So don't take this as an insult. Um, this is something that many people struggle with. I, I very visibly see that in Sentinel players who are just always late. But every round that you know that your teammates are just playing fucking default without pushing anything, you should have a plan for your bird to go just get info or deny space, right? So if I play default on on heaven, right? If I play default on heaven and I know we're not executing anything and I play sky, I will probably use a sky flash first tempo a long to deny informations from um, a players. If I play on C long, I'm gonna use a lineup here, right? Let me check where this goes. Actually, what if they go here? So, actually, using a lineup from close to the wall is better. 
Right, let's find an efficient one. Oh, this one is nice. Because it's behind the corner. See? See this shit? Look at this. Look at this. So I'm standing in the in the corner here. And I'm looking... Can I do it at this? No. Uh, so I have to do it a little bit more to the right. Can we do it... Wait. Let me find it. Here? No. That's interesting. Too high. So like somewhere around here. There's no way of doing a lineup. Because there's... There's nothing that you can aim at. So it's like more like a feeling one. Right. Oh, here we go. That's a nice one. So, you can actually do a lineup over here. See this one here? See this here? You can put your HUD over here, like this. Whoop! Like this. And then the burp goes onto site. And be like this, right? So you can try to learn this. You can try to learn this, uh, like, timing and shit. Right? And this flashes behind this corner. So the only problem is if it's someone stands literally at the corner here. But otherwise, this gives you nice informations and denies someone standing in this here. So it, like, it gives you a lot of information and potential peaks. Like, I like this very much. See? Like, and you aim to explode it somewhere here. So, this would probably be my default flash if I just play for info. Alright. Anyway. Um, if I it's play default, I know. like, <laughs> if I play Omen, if I play Sova, if I play Fade, if I play anyone who has signature ability on a cooldown, Breach, for example. Wow. If I play default... Yeah, I was... What the fuck, bro? We had a Guardian. A. Uh, I always use my one of my utility pieces on the signature to have it back in 40 seconds because I know we're not gonna we're not gonna um, peek into a site and do an execute before, right? Yes, yes, yes. So let's fix this issue here. This flash, you know what's wrong. You don't have to explain, right? The flash mode to the right. You 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 definitely um, when you think about peeking long here, right? Let's see if we can fix it. I don't think you can fix this, right? This might be one of the cases when you actually don't want to freebird this. So the reason why you don't want to freebird this, actually... Let me check. Actually, it's not that bad. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, th this bird is fine. Because it got just like explodes in the middle. So you just have to time it, right? But if you ever want to go short, just never drone from here. Just always do it from here. Like, there's absolutely no reason to trust the donkeys in your team. And look at the range anyway. You check everything that you needed to check to gather a short control, right? Right now, you just entered yourself because you trusted the people behind you, which is not the correct thing to do when you're playing fucking ranked. It's awful. Unguided, unguided light. That's also a nice, nice name. I like it more than Freebird. Although, do I? Right here. By the way, again, lazy check on the left side. I understand that you checked, uh, that you see the opponent, but always look, to, even if you see the race here, please look to your left. Please look to your left, look to your right. Like, that's your job. Not getting the stun on this player, because this player, even if he's getting stunned, he can go away. But if you check here and here, that's your job. 
right? That's your job to check the information on those two corners. Because if they had more than one player there, this Yoru is most likely dead. This Omen, there's a high chance he's dead as well. I don't know if he popped the flash, but it would have been very good flash. My ultimate is ready. On site, on site. Get out of your oh, bro! On Get out of your own! <laughs> this Yoru yeah. is so bad! This Yoru is so bad, holy shit. Freebird is too charming for me not to like it. Yeah, 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 I think Freebird stays. Yeah, right. Ah, lovely. Lovely flash. Lovely flash with good timing. Really nice. I should go see how that. It, it could have been a little bit more to middle. Jesus Christ, this hero. And he gets a kill for no reason. Anyway, uh, the flash might have been a little bit too much to, it's to your left. Right? What the fuck is this ultimate, Wait, man? Are you seeing this shit? Are you seeing this shit? This is terrible ultimate. Doesn't do jack shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, Kildra, you're a moron. Your ultimate literally didn't achieve anything. Well played. So, if I would, if I would realize that our Killjoy... He's playing like this. When I'm here, right? When I when I see the Killjoy ulting like this, after I'm getting attacked by the arrow, I would have gone back to Cubby and Dog. Because you have absolutely zero impact with this Killjoy ultimate. Like, they can literally stop you from pushing because when they stand over here in this area, they are not affected by the Killjoy ultimate. Right? So, you played it well, was very chaotic. But you can, you can literally see how much better you play when you focus on yourself. Reload is questionable. I, ha I think he had two bullets. Don't kill, don't kill. He's long, he's long. Yeah, uh, fuck those heals, man. Fuck those heals. 2v1, you need to fucking play for, for, for you know, for crossfire and so on. How big now? Ping it, ping it, ping it, ping it. I literally wanted to open the minimap and ping it, by the way. I think. Not on, not on, not on. Not ready Get yet. Hawk out. Blinded. Don't fly for info. Clutch. Yeah. God. Who you, fucking sticks right there? You, you can know that is half, by the way. When the sound is higher, right? When the sound is higher, higher pitch, it's it's half. Hear this? Half. If you have half in default and you know that your opponent is in city, like sorry, in double dose, you're pick, you're picking. The, I mean, you're sticking this. Like this is something that you're omen through. Like there's no question about it. But you also didn't play like for yourself because you know it's planted behind the box. You're in question in questionable position, right? But what you can also do is when you're in a position like this, and if you want like w that one flash, like the position of the spike is very questionable for you, right? Because you don't have a good position. Your opponent has quite the advantage, um, quite the advantage for your opponent, right? So when I'm here and I have that flash, I'm not using that flash to make the player off the spike. What I'm doing the flash for is for myself to try to get into a duel because I know it's gonna be a hard fucking round. So if I want to flash like this, right? I'm not flashing over here like this. I'm flashing like this. Because this will never flash me if I hug the wall over here and I peek, right? Look. Right? This will never flash me if I reduce the angle. And you're able to like go in with your gun ready. This is just so much better. And you can apply this to many situations. Like if you know that in your right position, like your opponent is on the left or right, 
flash to the opposite side typically right and so you don't get blinded and you have your gun ready to fight because most people would do sh this shit uh, uh! that's how they do it and typically they will lose it right that is just so much better you're out with that oh Scott. You want to play? Let's play. You can see the flash was popped way too early, right? Let's go here, let's go here. Well, you're a good can opener. I like it. You you played correctly with your with your utility to what you had. Your omen is a moron. It's incredible, man. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's planted badly whenever you plant for A, when you have the side control, or even when you don't have the side control, you plant in this position, so it's planted for both long and short. But people at Immortal 3 don't know that, so how do you expect them at Plat 2 to know it? So, Nowhere to run. when this smoke is up, I would have used my dog, but without the smoke being up on heaven, I'm never using my dog. So, if the smoke is up, you can use it because no one can like stand on the ledge and shoot you, right? But if there's the smoke, like the moment I realize there's a smoke, I'm probably popping the doggo to like deny a little bit of time and space. You're now it's like way too late. Way. Now it's like you never use anything. But if you would like to flash, remember there's an operator in fucking heaven. And this guy is gonna, yes, exactly do this. Angle, bro? That's. He, he, that's what I that's what I wanted to explain when I was saying that the smoke is there, right? When someone is on that edge, he will see you, right? So it's very important for you to be aware of that. If someone, if if your opponent is like operator here, right? He's gonna see you when he does this. Oops. When he's gonna stand on this ledge. Wait, can you stand on this? Dude, ima imagine if you would be able to stand on this, but you can't. So anyway, the point is, when he stands like this, when he extends the angle, he doesn't stand like close like this, but he extends the angle and does a little bit to the left, like this, he's gonna see enough of you to kill you, right? So when you're stuck in a position like this, you have to rescue yourself. If you know there's an operator here, right? Because a gun will not one-tap you unless you want HP. So you can at least like try to duel him. But once he has an operator, you have two options. So either you swing out and you're ready for the guy to peek you, right? Because that's your only chance of not dying. Or you're using the sky flash. And again, it's the same kind of logic that we had in the previous round in the clutch. So I don't want to flash on my left i want to flash on my right because the opponent is on my left and also coincidentally this is a good flash for the players in ct and also coincidentally this flash is gonna be amazing because it's not gonna flash the players underneath unless he's literally standing here which he shouldn't because he should be standing here like this right so we do this and this flashes over here so the player in heaven is flashed right because it explodes here and the players in ct can also be flashed if they are out right because it explodes over here see right and you can reposition because of that Ground. Time to jump. Time to hunt. Again, lazy checks on the corners, by the way. Like, you're not checking the left corner on that door. Someone can still stand and Yoru will up, be dead. Go up. Enemy spotted. See. Hey, take some space. We need A. We need control. Astra, go plant. A little bit higher with the flash here because the boxes on the side are blocking it 
Uh, this might be tough, though, because there should be something on top of the corridor. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. All right, this is tough. So I think, in this case... Let me check. Oh, wait, this is not blocking it. Wait, 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 look at this. All right, so this is blocking it. But this is not. That's interesting. Remember the... Again, the same purpose, right? Mm, but you're not certain that someone can be left. Okay, so we want to right side flash. So if you're going like this, we're gonna... Probably flash like that. Alright, so this is iffy. This is iffy a little bit. Let me check. And then it should be a smoke here, typically. So you're not gonna see shit. So you're... What if we do it from here? So we go like this. What? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, all right, this, this is gonna be too chaotic to actually con do consistently. So like... I wouldn't mind doing it like this, just... Eh, I think that's fine. Because the other option would be, like, going up and, like, steering it. Unless you can... If there's a smoke here, you can just do this. Alright, so if you, if you have a smoke here, two solutions to this, to this situation, right? If you're being blocked by a smoke, you go first into a smoke with your gun out, right? So you, you check the smoke with your gun out, and then you can swap to your flash, crouch, aim at the sky, flash like this, check your left. Because this way, you're gonna flash all the people playing backside and, and uh, platform. Because the flash is high up, and you have a free check on the guy on your left. Because he should be also like fully flashed, right? So when you do like this, you want to flash on top of on top of this, you know? Astro, go play. Right yeah, now, by, by the way, right, pay attention to how you enter the, the, Astra, the smokes. Go you go into two smokes without being ready that there's someone is. That, 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 there, there might be someone in the smokes, right? And that flash that you did doesn't, doesn't flash anyone backside. That's why you get damaged here as well, right? See? Like... A flash up top would have been much more efficient. What the fuck is the sofa? Oh, you went double dose, yeah. It's in that corner. My nerves are, are not strong enough to watch people butcher Yoru like this. Flash too early. It was covered by the angle. You've seen that, right? The, the edge of the... Again, same mistake. Again, don't trust your fucking donkey teammates, right? Stand in the corner that I showed you. You you're gonna, you're tilted. You you're tilted as fuck because of that shit. Why didn't you? Oh my fucking god. And you're playing really well today. Like on this vod, you're playing very efficiently, you get a lot of first bloods. You get a lot of shit done, but then you kick yourself in the nuts because you trust your donkey teammates to do something for you. Right here, I would probably go for a uh, short, ar uh, low armor and second flash. Did you buy heal? No. Okay. Nah, it's okay. Like, you can do whatever. It's just... Again, same first blood. Nice. Crouching would have been correct as well. So I don't like the fact that you use this sky flash. I really don't like the sky flash that you that you use here. So the reason why is that when you kill this when you kill this Reyna, right? When you kill this Reyna. And you do this check over here, and you check the corner on your right. You, okay, it's two things. So, one thing that you didn't do is check the corner on the right. I, I absolutely love how you got the first kill, how you dodged the, the, the Sova. You were, like, a little bit more patient, right? 
And then when you clear this, I would also clear this because this corner is incredibly fucking difficult, right? And then when I clear those two, I go back and this is the moment when you can actually do it from here because you already killed one player, right? And when you do this, you're able to like stun someone who's going out if he wants to catch you, right? But the point is, with the one flash that you have, this dog clears everything, right? And then when you go from short, because you know it's clear, now you can use a free bird and enter the site, right? And you want to flash, like, up top, hold, like, hug the wall to avoid this. <laughs> so the point is, you want to high flash, free bird, and you want to go in and try to kill as many players as possible because you're trying to play as a duelist right here, right? And you already got, like, first blood. Like, you did your job already, more than enough. But this sky flash right here doesn't achieve anything because it's for info, but you gather the information with the dog. Imagine you have the sky flash right now. Imagine, right? Terrible plant, as always. Yep, blank one. This Yoru might be one of the worst players I've ever witnessed in the game. Lothar, Lothar, Lothar. What do you do? Don't you know it's always Yoru's fault? He could be already on the right, by the way, little man. Good job, well played. So now you have your ultimate. So you should be trying to like, you know they're low buy. So if I'm the initiator right now, right? If I'm the initiator right now with the sky ult and I see my killer has an ult, I'm, my brain goes, okay, let's combine this. How can we combine this to get as much as, as done as possible? So I say to the killjoy, all right, Killjoy, I'm gonna ult A first tempo when the barrier drops and we gather short for you, right? So we can get A short control and ult from A short. Your ult guarantees almost to get that or like gets you into advantageous duels against the players on short. So my plan would be the barrier drops on A main, right? A main barrier drops, I ult first, right? So I ult first when the barrier drops. Then I sky flash over the wall, and I try to get informations from from short. So not information, but I just got. Uh, I want to gather the space with the ultimate from short. So I'm gonna follow the ultimate towards short, clear the space with the killjoy to get the ult into place. And then when this happens, I will still have one flash, and when I use that flash, I'm gonna get the second flash back in like around 10 seconds, right? What's the best plant spot? Here. Keep it cool. That's how you survive. Time to hunt. Scout destroyed. Seek them out. Yeah, I don't like this one bit. Like you're this round, you're actually very inefficient. Never crouch against the sheriff. You literally died because of that. So, let's let's uh, recap this round. First, the duel. Because the duel is very simple. You have a phantom. You started the duel well. You went left, right, left, right. But then you crouched and you literally died that moment. Because you stopped moving. Movement is life against players with precision guns. So you want to go left, right, left, right, left, right, and just continue spraying or just continue bursting. Any of those two are good. Crouching and starting to spray against this guy is a mistake. Every single time. Let's pay attention. You go left, right, left, right, and then you crouch and you die. Right? So never do that shit. And then the way that you played this round, pay attention. You used that dog and the ult, but you didn't use a single sky flash. And when you recap how you played this this half so far, 
whenever you didn't use your flashes at all in a round, you didn't get much done typically, apart from what one kill on Reyna on short. But when you were using your flashes, you were getting a lot of shit done because you were using them efficiently. Right now, this round is used inefficiently because you didn't get much done with your ultimate because it's more like... Like, you just used it and went completely different in a different way. And it could have been efficient if you killed that Reyna, right? But the timing on the Reyna pick is also not good. So, not using the flashes and not coordinating in the round with the teammates is one of the biggest problems here, right? And I know the donkeys might not hear it, not hear anything. But also, when you, when you hear the footsteps on your right... I would never peek in that moment when she's on the right. What I do is I wait for the Reyna to cross, right? I wait for the Reyna to cross. And then I go on side and I let her go. That'll be my play. Because this motherfucker never checks. He's just gonna go through, look at mid, not gonna see anyone. You wait for him and you follow him. Right? And you, when you do this, when I'm in this position, when I hear the footsteps from my right, I hide. I will hear the footsteps going behind the side. That's when I go here and check left, right. I go over here with a gun out, never with a knife. And I just follow like this. And I just follow like this. And I probably will get a double or a more impactful kill when my chances are going to be higher because my opponent's going to completely be unaware, right? Unless he just got fed up and ju just decided to just go lurk. Yeah, I can see that, Vinny. But this was the perfect round to actually try to win uh, because you had two ultimates, right? But yeah, it is what it is. Hope you learned something. I'm very happy that to see that you already changed your mindset and, and like you seem way more efficient at this guy and playing for yourself and more like a can opener. So the first round was played still like your old play style, but the second round you, sorry, for the, for the next next rounds, you actually became way more aggressive, way more efficient with your flashes. And um, you also like embraced uh, the technique of the free bird. Free bird.